Time-lapse photography is very similar in concept to stop-motion photography, except for a couple of major differences. Time-lapse uh, is generally longer time intervals, uh, whereas stop action is generally a little bit quicker. An example of good time lapse might be setting your camera to shoot every minute for six hours while the sun rises, or while a busy street, you know, as people get onto a busy street and the morning commute starts. Very similar to stop action, once you shoot a time lapse, it's important to then pull all those photographs into an editing program, uh, a video editing program specifically, like Final Cut, like iMovie, and time them all together and order them correctly. A couple important things to remember if you're going to attempt a time lapse uh, is you're going to need to stabilize the camera. It's got to be in one spot the entire time or it's not going to work. Uh, and it's always a good idea to go after things that you wouldn't ordinarily see move or really slow moving things. And that's what really gives time lapse a really special effect because it visualizes for people uh, things that they, they see in theory stationary but are actually moving just very very slowly it's a really good way to to make that come to life another reason why a lot of photographers are into time lapse is because it's a really uh, it's a cross between video and still it's still a still photograph you're looking at but it's a still photograph that's been animated uh, and that in and of itself is a pretty cool feature of it and these are just some basics of time lapse photography mm -hmm.